Angler's Extra. Back here on the Angler's Extra pregame show, Josh Schaefer joined by manager Tom Holliday for today's manager show as the Anglers visit Eldridge Park for the second time this season to meet the Orleans Firebirds. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Big win last night over the Bourne Braves. You guys wrap up your season series with Bourne and you take the series four games to none. What has been the key for you guys in your success over the Braves? Well, I mean, it's kind of one of those funny things that's going on up here. It seems like some teams you walk in and it doesn't matter who they pitch. You just tend to relax and play them better, I guess. And some teams we played, for some reason, we've played our worst against certain teams. And, and I can't even explain that, tell you the truth. It, it's weird, but we haven't played a good game against Orleans yet. Uh, last time we played pretty good. I mean, we gave them the runs that they had. They shouldn't have scored. And yet they're a pretty good hitting ball club and have been a really, you know, good team. So hard to explain. I'm actually really happy that you gr you brought that up. That leads me to my next question. You guys have had success against the Bourne Braves. You've had success against the Harwich Mariners. But two teams that you haven't had success with were the Wareham Gateman, who you lost the season series four games to none with. And so far, the Orleans Firebirds. How do you get back on track against Orleans tonight? I didn't know we lost four games to none against Wareham. I'm glad we don't play them. <laughs> me too. And... Uh, uh, Orleans tonight, it's it's one of those games where, you know, it, it's like wherever your pitching rotation rolls around, sometimes you match up, sometimes you don't. Tonight, I think they're going to see two guys they haven't seen before. Hopefully that works on our part. Uh, but the bottom line is when you when you play everyday baseball, uh, you just run them out there and some nights you're good, some nights you're bad, which I wish we could even that out a little bit. Um, you know, again, we were pretty good last night. And uh, sometimes pretty good's good enough to win. Sometimes pretty good's not good enough to win. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of like uh, stuck here with with all this um, innings thing that you know guys are you know all of a sudden kind of the clear blue sky they're they're going to depart the team. So we're we're trying to rebuild our our bullpen, quite frankly, and um, not not going real good right now. Well, they're throwing Shea Smitty tonight, a guy who will make his first start of the season. He made four starts at Louisville in the spring. And you guys are throwing Dan Hammer once again. Now, what has really been working for Dan Hammer as he enters today's game with an ERA below two? Dan, Danny's been a uh, really good strike thrower, and he's, he works quick. Uh, he gets great extension on his pitches, and he's pitched with no fear. And again, early in the season, I think pitching to a wooden bat was a lot of fun for everybody. I think some of the hitters have caught up. So, uh, you know, Danny's going to face a little different challenge tonight. It's going to have to be more mixing his stuff rather than just uh, going out and throwing fastballs and breaking wooden bats. Well, similar to Dan Hammer, Cooper Boardman has a lot of fire as well and no fear. We'll throw it back to him as the Angler's Extra pregame show continues.